What do you know about vitamin D? Vitamin D plays a major role in calcium hemostasis, so it wants to increase the calcium level in the blood. Multiple organs play an important role in this process. The skin, the liver, the parathyroid gland, the small intestine, the kidneys, the bones, all play a major role. It works on the skin, the liver, the kidneys, under the influence of the parathyroid glands that will secrete the parathyroid hormone. Then the active form of vitamin D will work on the small intestine and the bones. It goes to the intestine and absorbs calcium and it goes to the bone and resorbs calcium. All this is done in attempt to increase the calcium level in the blood. So you will have increased absorption of calcium and phosphate from the intestine, increased bone resorption of calcium and phosphate by activating the osteoclasts. Vitamin D precursor is stored in the skin and under UV light exposure, it is converted to pre-vitamin D3, which needs two hydroxylation, 25 and 1. So vitamin D is produced by the skin when exposed to sunlight. The pre-vitamin D3 is converted in the liver by 25 hydroxylation and in the kidney by 1 hydroxylation. The net outcome will be an active form of vitamin D that is 1,25-dihydroxy vitamin D. This active form controls the calcium hemostasis by working on the intestine and on the bone. Exposure to the sun for about 15 minutes will give you about 10,000 units of vitamin D. Conversion of vitamin D in the skin decreases with age and also in dark skin individuals. This crude vitamin D gets activated first in the liver, then in the kidney. Each activation is called hydroxylation. The bigger number, 25, comes from the bigger organ, the liver. The small number, 1, comes from a smaller organ, the kidney. Vitamin D25 is the most appropriate study to assess and to monitor vitamin D levels and status in the body. The half-life of 25-hydroxy vitamin D is approximately 2 to 3 weeks. The recommended daily allowance for vitamin D is approximately 400 to 800 international units. The primary effect of lack of vitamin D is decrease in mineralization of the newly formed bone matrix, and that's called osteoid. The rate of bone formation is decreased with a major change in the quality of bone and also less total bone. The condition is called osteomalacia in adults and rickets in children. Vitamin D have immunological consideration. In osteoporosis, supplementation with calcium and at least 800 international unit of vitamin D is recommended. Scleristin inhibits bone formation through wind pathway antagonism. If you're giving the patient vitamin D, you need to see a low level of scleristin in the blood. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.